So, I know it's been about three months now <laughs> since my last one, and I promise I am planning on doing these more regularly going into the future, but life's just been crazy, you know? It's just... a lot of stuff happened. And if you want to see some clips of the stuff that I was doing since my last vlog, I'll insert them at the end of the video. But today, I wanted to start a bunch of different bracelets, and I thought I would bring you along for the ride. So, we are in October now. And of course, because of that, I wanted to do a bunch of spooky patterns. So for the challenge of the month, I picked out two different patterns. One is a skeleton and one is a pumpkin pattern to make together. And I also want to do some other spooky patterns just for myself. So I've also been trying to sort of push myself to create more alpha designs since I'm not that great at doing them. So that's why both of the challenge patterns are alphas as well. So we're going to be starting a bunch of new bracelets today. Although, as you can see, my box of unfinished bracelets is not empty. I still have quite a few unfinished bracelets in here, um, quite a few of which are actually uh, the arrowheads that I haven't finished yet. I've only finished two of them. And also sort of the polka dot chevron bracelets, I want to do one for each colour. I've shown you that before. But yeah, this is one of the this is one of the patterns for the challenge of the month, um, and I'm doing it with a sort of sparkly thread for the orange. And that's sort of the theme that I want to go with. I want to use a bunch of my new sparkly yarns. So let me show you what I've got. So basically, I don't have a really great way of storing my thread. Uh, some of my thread is in boxes that I've shown you before. Other threads are just like in bags and stuff. But I have my yarn stored in here. So I have a bunch of different uh, sparkly Alice yarn, which I did a video on and I'll link that somewhere so you can check that out if you want to in more detail. Um, but I've got a bunch of that sort of sparkly yarn here and I really want to do something with that. I really want to use this black or maybe this black because it's uh, also sparkly but more subtle in sort of like a background. Uh, so something like a space uh, pattern with that as a background. So I think I'm gonna be using this one actually, so I'll put it aside. Um, this one is white. I'm thinking maybe that could be also used somewhere, but I don't have any specific plans yet. I've also got all these sort of uh, multicolored ones. This is the Alitza Diva. I've never used them before. <laughs> a lot of these I haven't used yet, because I was still catching up on the competition winners and I was still catching up on, on Patreon bracelets. I haven't really had the chance to sort of create something for myself. Uh, so I'm really excited to use these. These um, are also new ones that I got. This one was sent to me by HM Zoko uh, and I'm really excited to try these as well. But I don't have any specific plans for this yet. I want to get out this one because this one I'm going to be using for the skeleton. I want to do the skeleton bracelet with just a normal black background but with this uh, sparkly grey for the bones of the skeleton. So that's going to go off to the side. This one I'll show you later what the pattern is, but basically it's a pattern with a bunch of moons um, and I want to use that for the background for like the stars and stuff. Other than that, um, I don't know where exactly I want to use all these, but I definitely, definitely want to have all of these be used because there's so many of them and they're so pretty and I'm so happy that I have them. I'm really excited to try them out. I've also like taped everything down here because otherwise they get tangled and messy. So yeah, I've got a whole sort of drawer filled with yarn over here under my Kluskazak calendar that I'm not using right now. I didn't get all my lights out because like this is just the vlog, but I have a bunch of these I got in Russia. I showed it on my Instagram story, but I didn't show it here. Um, so these, all right, so this is by the brand Kirov. I got these in Russia. And these are just like packs of gradients. Um, and I don't really have any specific plans for them yet either, but I think they might come in handy for something later. So I'm just gonna put those aside. I also went out with Simari Handmade uh, on Instagram. We met up while I was in Russia and that's where I got these as well. I went out with her and she recommended this brand. This is Kamtex, also from Russia. Uh, it's basically 100% cotton yarn and it's the same thickness for bracelets. Um, so there's quite a lot of it in here. So this color I'm not running out anytime soon. And I also got other colors for it. So I've got yellow, purple, this is a beautiful multicolored one, very beautiful colors here, and sort of a light blue, dark blue, red, which is beautiful and deep. This multicolored one, this one as well, I really like this one, I think we could think of a really cute sort of pastel um, bracelet with these, I don't know specifically what though, but I also have these. So these were given to me as a gift from my mum and this is the Yarn Art 
uh, Camellia. Uh, I think she got these in Russia as well and she gave them to me as a gift. So these are sort of metallic, um, they're really sparkly. They're a little bit thinner than the normal sort of strand but I've used them and they're fine in bracelets, so they turn out okay. I've got this beautiful gold and more gold because you can never have enough gold. I also have this beautiful silver, which I don't have any plans for yet at the moment because I don't really know where I can use it. And I have this beautiful orange. And this is the one that I'm using for the pumpkin. So this is really, really cute. So I do have a lot of supplies. And finally, I'm like done with all the competition winners with most of the Patreons. I still have, I think, two I need to send out. But I can finally justify sort of um, making my own stuff and not actually doing it for other people. So let's get into that. So I have a lot of saved patterns on bracelet book. I think I have like 300 um, and yeah, there's there's a lot of them. But basically what I do is I save all the patterns that um, I like when I'm sorting through them. And now since I'm a moderator on bracelet book as well, I see patterns before they're submitted. And if I approve them, I also save them to here when I like them. Uh, so now I have like early access to patterns that I like, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically I have a lot and I wanna just like sort through this and pick out some of the patterns that I really wanna get to soon. And um, yeah. I definitely want to start this one, and for this one, I want to use this yarn, which is the sparkly one, as the background to sort of imitate the stars. I want to do this one as well, but in the middle as well, sort of use some kind of color changing string. This one is really beautiful, I need to think of a color combination for it. This one is cute, it's really tiny though, I prefer thicker patterns, but I think I'm going to make this one regardless. I want to start this one a lot, I really like it. This one is super cute as well, I really like these colours actually, and I don't really want to change them. And then this one is the one that I'm going to be doing, but I'm probably going to do this variation of it, so with black and white. And with this, I also want to use this sparkly thing for the background. I was thinking of maybe using this sort of sparkly uh, grey for the background of, like for the grey here, but I think that would be just too many sparkles and I might just want to leave it for the background. And then of course we have this and we're also going to be starting the skeleton pattern which I don't have up but I'll get up in a second. So picking colors is always hard for me and you guys are constantly requesting like tutorials and stuff on how I pick colors. It's always a process. So I've got um, Adobe Color up on here and I'll leave that linked in the description. Basically there's a thing called color theory which I've also actually studied at university so that's helpful university education. Um, but basically there's a bunch of different ways in which you can arrange colors. The one that I'm looking at right now is complementary which looks at uh, two opposite colors on the color wheel. Uh, but there's also other ones like monochromatic or triad which looks at three different colors sort of on each of the thirds of the color wheel. So you basically you can look at these that can give you like sort of ideas for color combinations but when it comes down to the nitty gritty you have to just like sit down and sort through your collection and figure out what colors go together. Uh, so right now I'm looking at a purple color gradient and I'm thinking of doing some kind of like green and yellow with it but I don't think that these necessarily go that well like specifically these colors. So I'm sort of still figuring out what colors I want to do. So I did my organizing my collection video where I organized all my threads, but since then I've bought a lot more and they're just like in bags like these and all the yarn you just saw how was stored and all the other stuff is in just like boxes like this and it's all just messed up together. And actually I personally don't mind that like I did that video where I organized everything and yeah, that looks really cool. But I find it more stressful to be honest to sort through colors when they're on bobbins because I then need to put the bobbins back to where they were and have to have it look pretty all the time. I'm cool with it just being a mess, honestly. I'm, I don't mind that at all. I just sort through this. I pick out the colors that I like. I sort of try them on together and then I throw them back in. I genuinely don't mind that, so. You know, a little secret into my world. Also, you might have noticed these anchor multicolored threads. I haven't tried them yet, but I've got this pastel rainbow and this sort of other rainbow, but this is a bit too dark of a rainbow for me. So I'm sort of also thinking of where I can use that. I think I'm gonna settle for this. Uh, so sort of like a green to yellow gradient with a purple to sort of light lilac 
gradient as well. So this is for this pattern and I'll leave all the patterns in the description for you. So for this one, I'm thinking of doing a deep red, uh, a sort of bright red and just like an off white for the border. So for the planet one, I actually like the colours that are in the pattern. As I said, I want this for the background, um, but for the pattern I'm going to go with uh, this yellow for the actual planet and then this for the ring around it. Um, I think this is like a really bright, almost neon orange. I don't know how well the camera is picking that up, but like this is really, really bright. Um, so I think it stands out amazingly on the black and also the yellow. So I'm actually really happy with that color combo. I'm just gonna leave it here. For this one, I really wanna go with the multicolored for the middle, but I'm not sure if I want sort of like a black or white outline for the outline. I don't know, picking colors is a little bit difficult to be honest. I wanna go for a multicolored, so let's find the multicolored first. I have a bunch of multicolored ones in here. Let me just like pick them out. Basically for this pattern, I originally saw Kami do a bracelet like this, and this is the beautiful bracelet that she had. So this is what like sort of inspired me to actually create this pattern. So she's using a beautiful multicolored thread for the middle, and then a sparkly one for the background. I don't really have that many sort of like multicolored ones that I really like. I like these, but I don't think that they're really... I don't know how to describe it, I'm not like in love with them if you know what I mean. Like these prism ones, I think they're really cute and I've used them before. I'm not like in love with them, so I'm not, I'm not burning with like passion to create with these at the moment. So, I don't know, I'm gonna put these aside. And once I've done that, you can see that I mostly have multicolored prism. Uh, so I've got a bunch of like DMC ones as well, but this one, I've created one with this recently, so I don't wanna do it again, I wanna do something new. The pink ones, I don't think will really work here. So I'm gonna put these aside as well. Maybe this one? This one could work, but I also want to use one of these maybe. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. This one was one that I got sent through mail, so thank you, Peter. But I don't think this works for this either. So maybe this would work, but I also kind of want to do this maybe. Maybe this? I'm going to have a look at what uh, sparkly yarns I have to match this. Okay, so upon raiding my closet, which took so long that my computer screen decided to fall asleep, I've decided to go with this one for the inside. This one, which is sparkly sort of salmon, I guess, color? I don't know how to describe this one. And then probably like a brown for the outline or something like that. So I'm gonna put this aside as well. This one I'm gonna put off, I'm not gonna make this one. So yeah, and for all the other ones, I've already done the colors. So let's get to cutting. I started a bunch of patterns. I've got two of these which look pretty much the same and I mean they are the same at the moment. Um, they just have one string difference so once I actually get to making the pattern I need to very carefully realize which one's which because there's literally the only difference is this one has I think 11 and this one has 12 strings. Um, I started this one and I am so happy with my color choices because look at this. 
That is so cute. I love that this thing sparkles. I love it. I love the color combinations of this. I'm super excited to start this bracelet. I think it's gonna be so cool. I love it. I have this one, which is the tiny little red one. There's so little strings. I'm so not used to making tiny ones, but this one. And then also this one I started. I started this one as well for for this pattern. I thought I would end up with more, but I only did five. That's still quite a lot though. Five is more than enough. I should get into doing these as well. But before I go, I thought I would give you a little bit of update onto what I'm reading. So, since the last vlog, I finished Crazy Rich Asians. It's now up on my shelf. And I started reading the next book in the series, which is China Rich Girlfriend. I'm now on page 120, and I have just finished the first part of the book. So there's three parts to this book. I finished part one. I absolutely loved Crazy Rich Asians. I thought it was a really fun read. I enjoyed it a lot. I did, however, feel that the ending was somewhat um, anticlimactic or like a little bit dissatisfying, but then you have to realize that it is a trilogy, there's more books to it, so I guess that made sense that not all the questions were answered, not all the plot lines sort of got to a finished point, but I guess that's kind of the point where you have a series. Um, so I'm now a third into this book and I'm really enjoying it as well. It's in the same style, it's the same humor, I'm having a lot of fun with it as well. So yeah, I'm definitely loving it. But I am not reading as much as I want to be reading. I feel like I cannot justify reading because I always have so much stuff to do. Now that I've also started university, I'm trying to do my channel twice a week, you know, posting videos two times a week, also doing like live streams and other stuff. I have a husband now who's with me, uh, so I, I feel like I always have stuff to do and I can't justify reading. But I need to. I need to read because that is such important downtime for me. Um, I need to be able to have that time where I just sit down and I read. So I haven't read anything in about like a month. Honestly, I haven't read anything at all. So, this is inspired by Catrice Reads on Instagram, who's also Mr. Sky and NASA. She has a friendship bracelet account and also a reading account. Um, she does these daily trackers on her Instagram story where she posts this tracker and indicates how many pages she's read each day of the month. Um, and I decided I want to do that too. So. so I sat down and I designed my own reading tracker with my friend's iPad. And this is what I ended up creating. Uh, if you want to download that and somehow use it for yourself, I'll try to have it linked in the description so you can download it from somewhere. But it will also be on my Instagram sort of story highlights and you can screenshot it from there if you want to. I'm going to start posting this tracker every single day and indicating how many pages I have read on that day on my Instagram story. So if you want to catch up with me there, you can do that. I think that's enough for today. I have done quite a lot. However, I do have a bunch of other vlogs planned. I want to make each vlog sort of like unique and a different theme to it. And I have a lot of stuff planned out already. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Before I go, here are just a few clips of my summer holidays. So for some context, my family, who are my parents and my younger sister, came to the UK over the summer. They stayed in a cottage in Wiltshire and I came to visit them. <laughs> and there were a bunch of different animals. So here are some clips of that.
Вот, так что дети. Как боится, бедный. Да. Тебе покладывать. Боже мой, какой ты свиняшный и маленький. О мой гадность. О мой гадность. Ай, господи. Ты это видела? Видишь, я вашу маму трогаю. Ну, маму трогаю. Можно тебя теперь потрогать? Нет. Они видят глазами что-нибудь? Должны же быть, если глаза открыты, то видят, рождается слепые, наверное. Можно тебя потрогать? Можно? Можно тебя потрогать? Ну, можно тебя? Ну все, ну нет, у меня больше ничего. Покормили, она меня кусает, значит, Хорошо, да? Это более голодная. Так, ну, Я подождите, ну не говорите, не хватит. Ну. Вообще не похоже, что они были. Ой. А как оно обратно залезет? Снимай. Как оно обратно залезет? Ой. Они, видимо, научены. Тебя, видимо.
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I post videos on Wednesdays. I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays and um, sometimes I post bonus videos as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.